With the country awaiting the release of the Memphis police videos in connection with the death of Tyre Nichols, there has been another police video creating controversy, and we have an update from the LAPD in connection with the death of 31-year-old Keenan Anderson, the cousin of Black Lives founder, co-founder Patrice Cullors. After a traffic accident, Anderson was tased repeatedly after running from police and seeming to resist. Now, we've analyzed the 21 minutes of video that police released, which I did uh, not seem to think supported the claim from Colors and other activists that Anderson was murdered by police. But one big question had been a seven-minute gap in the video. Some activists pointed to this as some sort of LAPD conspiracy to hide criminal behavior. Well, now we have the seven minutes, and barring some new revelations, it may only help the cops, not those accusing them of murder. This has been a story that would see the left-leaning media immediately jumping to tropes about police and race rather than conducting a sober, fact-based assessment of the video, as we do on this show. And that was before the new look at this footage. Now, it all starts with the arrival of the police on the scene, trying to figure out what happened at a traffic accident. Witnesses are pointing to Anderson as the culprit. Get off to the side here. Get on the street. Hey, stop right there. Get up against the wall. Get up against the wall. All right, everything seems to be going fine. While all Anderson seated on the ground, what we're about to show you is some of the seven minutes originally missing. So, who's trying to get you? Who's trying to? You said somebody's trying to kill you. No, sir, nobody's trying to kill my car job. You know? What's that? My car malfunction. Who's trying to kill you? My car malfunction. Can I see a lawyer? What do you need a lawyer for? I need a lawyer, sir. Okay, we're still trying to figure out everything that's going on here. Okay. All right. What's your name? Keenan. Keenan. Keenan Anderson. Can I, get a, can I get a moment to catch my breath, please? Yeah, catch your breath, catch your breath. Just keep sitting there for me. I'm sorry, sir. Hey, it happens. They're about to get him and try to kill me, sir. Who's trying to kill you? I don't know. Please look at that, sir. Look. What? Help! Help! What do you What do you need help with, sir? Help, please! I'm here helping you, all please right? Please help me! Help! I'm here help, helping you. Help, please! I'm here helping you. No, I'm not okay, ma'am. Hey, keep sitting down. Keep sitting down. Please. Stay down for me. Hey, Please. hey, stay Please. here. Stay here. It was many minutes of the same kind of talk. Anderson speaking radically, patient officer attempting to lower the temperature of the situation. And in fact, the only instruction the officer gave him was to just stay there and stay seated while they waited for an ambulance, an instruction that Anderson would not follow. Just sit down for me a second here, okay? Please, look, sit sir. Sit down for me. Sit down. You're putting a thing on me. Sit down. Like, I'm not hot. putting anything. Come Please. here. Sit down over here. Please. I don't want you in the road. Please. Come here. I don't want you in the road. Come here. Please. Come here. Please. Come here. Please. Please. Come here. Please. Please. Thirty-nine second clip, officer politely asked Anderson to sit down, get down on the street ten times before he had to get back on the motorcycle and order him to the ground. Seconds later, other officers arrived. They struggled to subdue Anderson, leading to one officer using his taser. I'm going to tase you. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. Turn over. Turn over, I'm going to tase you. Turn over, I'm going to tase you. Turn over, I'm going to tase you. Yes. I can't. Watch, watch your elbow, pardon? You're trying to jaw floor me. You're trying to jaw floor Stop it. Stop it or I'm going to tase you. Okay, stop it or I'm going to tase you. Stop it or I'm going to tase you. Stop resisting. Please. Stop resisting. Please. 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 I'm going to tase him. I'm going to tase him. According to the LAPD, quote, Anderson was subsequently handcuffed and hobbled at the ankle shortly after Anderson was taken into custody. The Los Angeles Fire Department responded to the scene, rendered medical aid. For deployment of the taser, Anderson was transported via a rescue ambulance to a local hospital. 
While at the hospital, Anderson went into cardiac arrest and was pronounced deceased. That is according to the LAPD. Now, the police also released a preliminary toxicology report, which indicated that he tested positive for cocaine and marijuana. Family has filed a $50 million claim against the city of Los Angeles. There are questions that remain. The taser was activated six times for a total of 29 seconds. Is that too much for too long? Did cocaine in his system contribute to Keenan's heart failure? These are fair questions, but on this show, we wait for all the information before jumping to conclusions, and we'll stay on it. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.